This is a picture of the stone tablet that fell from the sky at Lookout Landing. I managed to decipher the inscription on it using my notes on ancient Hyrulean I had in storage in the, at this research lab. Here's what it says. One's held your honor as hawk maid to King Raru and Queen Sonya thereafter to his sister and Princess Zelda. One's you held honor as hawk maid to King... What? I have no idea what this is saying. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Sergeant Scrawl. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, I, I accidentally... Here, I'll do that again. Uh, t <laughs> today I am planning on getting done all of the... Hold on. I'm using one hand remote, one hand remote user here at the moment. Uh, I'm planning on finishing up all the rest of the quests. I'm not going to even touch the cash in unripened flint yet because that's a nightmare. I'll figure that out. But I need to go and finish up all the quests in Hitino Village and then that will be it until I fix Lurlin Village. Uh, that'll be the rest of the quests, except for this one. I'll make sure to keep that one odd mark so that I know that I need to get that one. But I just need to finish up these three in here, and I will start on the side adventures, which I've probably finished most of already. Someday a second star. Er, oh, hi. Welcome to Kochi Dice Shop. I've seen you before, right? You're regular with us. I mean, in my book, anyone who shows up more than once counts as a regular. Anyway, you know the drill. My hubby is a dry around here, not me. All this activity is going to be a problem. I mean, I'm grateful to see that our shop is taken off like this, but every day is so exhausting now. Uh, supposedly, there was supposed to be a quest around here. Oh, greetings and saturations. Hi. Hey, I got a favor to ask. It's not enough for me to rework with fabric you bring me. I want to dye my hand at making my own patterns. Just like Cece, of course, hers are all original designs, and making fabrics from scratch seems a lot like a lot of hard work, but that's where a hue comes in. Could you cast around for some reference material I could use as inspiration? First, I'm thinking I want to see visuals of that monster they call a choo-choo. That kind of choo-choo is everywhere, even just outside the village, but I'm too pa paint-hearted to get near them. I think if I could see a regular choo-choo for myself, not a fire choo-choo or ice choo-choo, it would help a lot. F photographing a choo-choo. Okay. He said right outside the village, but I am going to do the smarter thing so I don't waste time. Flick over to scene two. Let's see here. Enemies. Uh, choo-choo. Hold on. Choo-choo. Okay. Choo-choo fabric. Uh... Uh, uh. Aha, the Robred Drop-Off Cave. Where is that? There we go. Okay, I know that there was Choo Choo in here. Just don't quite remember where. There we go, got one right away. Delete, I gotta get a better picture. A picture, there we go. Oh, that's, that's not good enough, ow. Come on, better one, better one. Oh, no, Sidon, don't do anything. Keep hold picture. Okay, I got it. And that's the wrong button. Nope, we're leaving. We are leaving right away. Here you go, bud. I wasn't close enough. Did you bring me some reference material for a choo-choo pattern? I have a new reference. Oh, so that's a choo-choo. I can feel the inspiration bleeding into reality. I'll start developing this pattern at once. All tone. With your help, I've made a very pretty pattern. You can have the fabric I worked up as thanks. Choo-choo fabric. A tough fabric bearing a choo-choo design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. I knew I'd get a different result from some quality reference. I bet you I could make other patterns too. In fact, I made a list of patterns I'd like to die out. 
when you get your hands on anything, I might use his reference. Come on in and show me. I have, if I have the reference, I can make an original pattern for you to walk out the door with. Looking forward to seeing what we can do together. What pictures do I still have in here? I have horse. I have Gleok. I have little girl running downstairs. Here, I've got a couple. He har ha. He har ha. What? If you're not a pigment of my imagination, you must be a customer. Dying cloths, clothes the color of choice, or reworking paragliders with some new cloths. Uh. Never mind. I have some new pictures. I have a new reference. Oh, that's a horse, all right. Would you look at that? Now that's what I call inspiring. I'll start developing this pattern at once. All tone. Perfect enough to give me goosebumps, that's for sure. You can have the fabric I worked on as thanks. Horse fabric. Tough fabric wearing a horse design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. I knew I'd get a different result from some quality references. I bet I could make other patterns too. I have a new reference. Oh, that's a Gleok, all right. I can feel the inspiration bleeding into reality. I'll start developing this pattern at once. All tone. I put dye, sweat, and tears in this magnificent beauty. You can have the fabric I worked on as thanks. Tough fabric bearing a Gleok design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. I knew I'd get a different result from some quality reference. I bet you I could make other patterns too. I have a new one. I thought this was the part where you show me a reference. Well, when you do find some kind of reference that sparks an idea, come over and show me the first thing. Can I see his list? Rework the paraglider. I have a new reference. I didn't see his list. So nuts. How do I see his list? Where's his list? Hold on. I don't have his list. In well, I have the map, I guess. I can use the map from now on. But I have one more quest here to do, and it's this way. What a disaster. Hey there, who's come out to visit me in the field? Oh. Oh, hi there. I still owe you one after the mayoral election. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I've been doing some research towards a test run of veggies using some CC brand style. The two of us worked hard raising them. They were almost ready for harvest. But then a pack of monsters came and trashed the field so the whole crop is ruined. Uh. Two of us aren't tough enough to in a scrap to send those monsters packing. But what we need is a bodyguard with muscles to stand watch over the crops. I'll take the job. Huh, okay. Oh, you'll handle it for us? That's perfect. Based on our stakeouts, the monsters come late at night and seem to go back where they came when the sun rises. I can't let a traveler stand against those monsters alone. I'll be there fighting right beside you. Or I'll try at least, but if the monsters are too much for us and I can't take the heat, I hope you won't blame me for retreating. I know this is short notice, but I'm set to go if you are ready. Ready to hold this field with me until dawn? All set. Great, then let's stay here and keep our eyes peeled for monsters. I'm ready. I'm assuming that they're Stalkoblins then. This is about the time when the monsters usually come to lay waste to the field. When you see them get near the field, send them packing. I don't think the monsters like it when dawn breaks. We just gotta hold out until the sun rises. They're coming, please. Link, help. I knew it. Okay, no, I didn't think we were done here. Is that it? Wait, I wanted... We've beaten so many monsters already that there can't be any more coming. He did it, Link. No need to wait for sunrise to know it's over. Okay, but I didn't get to collect all their stuff. I hope that it stays... We, we did it. Hey, look at my pumpkins. Thanks to you, the pumpkins we worked so hard to grow hard on. 
Thanks to you, the pumpkins we worked so hard on, on got the chance to grow. Aren't these pumpkins beautiful? See the way they catch the sunlight and sparkle? <laughs> that's it. We should call these beauties sun pumpkins. Plump, delicious sun pumpkins. Yes, I think that's the perfect name for them. <laughs> sun pumpkins, what a great name. Yeah. Here, this is our thanks for your help. Sun pumpkin times five. A new variety of pumpkin that soaks up the sunshine in the Tino village. Baked into a dish and it can help heal the effects of exposure to gloom. <laughs> Our veggies and fields are the real jewels of Hatino Village. We're lucky to have you around protecting them. We'll just we'll just get CC's approval on them real quick, and then we can start selling them at Hatino Signature Produce. None of this would have been possible without you looking out for us. Should I take a picture of these? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, so that's another one that I have to fill in my compendium. Yep. So how many does that mean now that I have left to fill in here? Uh, I do have a bunch left to fill up in here, but I can eventually buy them from Robbie. Well, not that I want to. So, uh, that means now that I flick over to scene two, let me flick over the map. Scene two, I have now finished up Homegrown and Hatino and photographing a choo choo. So now I have all side quests done that I possibly can for now. So, uh, for the moment, I'm just going to go and remark a bunch of these. And then I'll start, and then I'll and then I'll set up side adventures, mark off all the ones I've gotten to that, and start on that. And we'll try to start with the Lurlin Restoration, the Lurlin Village Restoration Project. Okay, I have all of the side adventures now marked off. Uh, you can see I did complete most of them like I thought. I only have a couple left. So first one I'm going to go for is Bring Peace to Hebra. Ready to go, bud? You ready to go? Ready to go at it? Ready to go at it? I'm ready. Got him. Can I grab that? Should I grab that? I don't have the space to grab that. Get back here. Thank you. Okay. I'm ready. Are you guys ready? That iron ball is in the way. Hello. You guys look somewhat prepared, but not very prepared at all. Hey, if it isn't Link, I had a feeling we'd meet again. It, we're raring to go beat up the monsters that set up, up that big old fort. Uh. But that iron ball at the entrance is in the way. We're not sure what to do. We can't go charging up there without a plan, and that ball is sure to take us out. I just wish we could get rid of the iron ball somehow, then we'd really give those monsters a beating. Sorry, I missed him my first shot. Whoa, the path is clear. That's it. This is it, everybody. Let's just quickly get this out of the way. And let's get ready to start helping. Okay, here we go. Hold on. Need to attach something powerful to my sword. Uh, I guess I'm using you guys. I always use you, unfortunately. Okay, that's one. That's two. Oh my word, why is my computer lagging like crazy? Or is it my computer, or is it the game? I can- Ow! Okay, so we're switching targets. One, two, okay. Come on, let me out of here. Hey! Oh no. Come on. Okay, so that's part of it taken. Oh my word, this is so glitchy. Okay, got him. Partially. Okay, here we go. We're switching. I'm going to switch over to the Lionel one for now. Okay, got him. Okay. 
Okay, so there's somebody left. Okay, nice, they got him. Okay. We did it, we won. Come on, gather around everyone. First, we have to treat the wounded, then as soon as everyone's okay, we'll get together and plan our next move. And f as for you, Link, you deserve thanks. Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure, sure. Did I do good? Wow, you amazed me yet again. Seriously, you must be what they call a prodigy or something. Prodigy or something. Anyway, here's your reward. Oh, thank you. We're gonna rest up a bit and get ready for the next battle. That blood moon. I tell you, no matter how many monsters we defeat, make sure we get knocked right back to square one. Anyway, if we don't get some rest, those monsters will defeat us for sure, and all our hard work won't mean a thing. Push yourself too hard and you become your own worst enemy, you know? Same goes for you. You go easy on yourself, okay? May the goddess highly keep you safe, brave warrior. Okay. Bring peace to Heber complete. So, is there nothing... Okay, so there's nothing else connected to that, then. So I guess then the next bring peace to whatever would be, yeah, it'd be Nekluda. So let, I'm going to quickly collect everything here, and then I'll head over to Nekluda. There they are. And Minu just passes right through them. Okay, I'm turning off the. Am I? Gonna, I'm not gonna turn off the sages. It's not a good idea. Some of you guys look a little bit better prepared. Some of them not. Hi. Link, hello. It's an honor to see you again. We're moving in on the monster base up ahead. They've dug in once again. After we approach, we'll wait for the right moment and then launch our attack. Nothing would make me happier than to have you assist us again. Please join us. We can bring peace to this land if we work together. We're close. Be careful. I know. Monster control crew halt. Okay. I'm ready to begin a barrage whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Ing. Okay, how'd I do? I think I took quite a couple of them quite a ways. Okay, I did some good damage. Oh, I barely dodged that one. Oh man, I missed my opportunity there. Oh my word. This game is glitching, and no, it's not my computer, I'm watching the frames, and the frames are staying a solid 30. It's how much movement's going on here. Okay, that's another one taken. Okay, they can take him for a second. You guys were so ill-prepared for this. There, yeah, add insult to injury right there. Okay, so now there's just one little guy to take out now. Should I pick up a weapon? Do they have a weapon I can pick up? Where's the last guy? Thank you, Silent Princess. Where's the last guy? Okay, so they're trying to take the last guy right now. Bunch of them got knocked out. No wonder. Oh, okay. That was awful. Victory is ours. Bravo, everyone. Link, I'm so grateful for everything you did for us. If you don't mind, could you come here a moment? Sure. Yeah, a bunch of you guys got taken pretty hard. Another incredible battle. With you on our side, Link, we can take on any threat. Ah, oh, I nearly forgot. Please accept this reward as thanks for all your help. Well, thank you. We've received a message from Headquarters. It says you've been an enormous help to other squads of the Monster Control Crew as well. In fact, Headquarters entrusted me with this token of everyone's gratitude. I hope you can find a use for it in your travels. Monster Control Crew fabric. Tough fabric bearing a Monster Control Crew design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. 
Of course, the true battle is yet to come. Have you seen it, Link? The Blood Moon, I mean. When it rises in the sky, monsters will flood the land and threaten the people in Hyrule once oh. again. My squad members will rest and, t and rebuild their energy to prepare for its return. Ah, well, I do look forward to fighting by your side once again. May you fight with the goddess Hylia's divine protection, brave swordsman. Okay, it looks like uh, that was the last one then. I guess. I guess. Ah, uh, nice. I'm going to quickly go collect and then figure out what I'm doing next. Okay, bring peace to Nekluda. Message from an ancient era. Guess that's the next one. So I guess I'm heading to Kakariko Village. Let's go talk to that guy here. This means... Yeah. Hey, bud. Ah, Link, good of you to come. Too curious to stay away, huh? Who are you again? <laughs> what a droll sense of humor. It's me, Wordsworth, the ancient Hyrulean scholar you met at Lookout Landing. Aren't you curious about my findings here, Link? Oh. This is a picture of the stone tablet that fell from the sky at Lookout Landing. I managed to decipher the inscription on it using my notes on ancient Hyrulean I had in storage in the, at this research lab. Mm. Here's what it says. One's held your honor, Al's hawk maid to King Raru and Queen Sonya, thereafter to his sister and Princess Zelda. One's you held honor, Al's hawk maid to King... What? Here on this gate stand, one twelfth mo with all you make your endite men time with the royal family. So might hero remembers preserving for the sake of him whom our hope rests. Hold on a second. Once held, once held your honor as hawkmaid. Hawkmaid to King Rara and Queen Sonya thereafter to his sister and to one Princess Zelda. Here on these great, on these great stand, one twelfth mo with all. I have no idea what this is saying. <laughs> There's not much to go on, but you can clearly read the names of King Rara and Queen Sonya, the founders of Hyrule. The name Zelda is clearly legible elsewhere on the text. The author finishes by saying she will write about the royal family's daily lives in 13 segments. Ah. It certainly seems to be a royal diary left behind by a chamberlain or someone of equivalent station. The part that catches my attention is the third name mentioned, Zelda. There's no record of anyone by that name in any other texts we've unearthed so far, but this is evidence that the name Zelda is much older than the princess. It dates back way to the oh. founding of Hyrule. What's written here must be the start of the first-hand account of Hyrule. Mm. Did you notice the number 13 there? That means that there are 12 more stone tablets to be found. If a royal chamberlain really oh. left these, it's an interesting perspective on the day-to-day -day life of the era, one which the history books don't mention. There's so much we could learn here of King... Rara, Queen Sonya, or even the curious woman named Zelda. Twelve stone tablets left. Fascinating. If you happen to find more stone tablets than travels, get to some kind of visual get some kind of visual evidence of them and show them to me. I'll make sure there's a nice reward in it for you. Okay, so now I have to finish all of them. Well, wow. uh is that some is there somewhere on my map that shows me where these are? Okay, so there's nothing on the map that will tell me anything, so the only way that I'm going to uh, figure out where all of these are is to go and mark every single one of these on the map. So I will get back to you again when I finish that. Oh, a while. Really? Yep. <laughs> I don't know what you're smoking. Oh, just, this is what happens when you get to the end, Adam. Okay, so I have now found all the locations. They're now marked with the diamonds. Uh, it took me a second, and I needed help for the last three, but I've got them, so I'm going to start heading for them. Okay, let's quickly grab this tablet in ancient Hyrulean. Okay, so that's another one. And I can now remove this mark. And I guess next where we're heading is... Where? It's right down here. So we'll head for here next.
I feel like this one's gonna fall off from underneath me. Yep, knew it. Okay, quickly take a pitch. Sure. Got it. Okay. So I now have two of the pitchers. Uh, I need to remove... I need to remove some of these. Actually, no, I'm keeping these. I think I have enough. I have enough spots, right? Yeah, I have plenty of spots to keep all of these. Okay. Okay, bye. So, next spot on the map. Now that I've done that one, these two. I'm actually going to... Nope. Be heading back up i guess back up to this region and tackling this one next so i'm just gonna get right up there this is probably the easiest place for me to get it to i gotcha i've got it i've got it located now i know where it is I'm not sure. I have a feeling that this one is also going to... No, apparently not. Nice. Okay, Tablet Ancient Hyrulean. There we go. And... We can now mark that one off, which I already had, because I was getting way too ahead of myself. Now we can head for here instead. Not sure if Robbie has a picture of the light dragon yet, but I can certainly see if he does or not. You know what, first of all, I'm gonna quickly take this picture. Okay, we got it, I think. Let's hope and pray. Yep, so I've gotten four of them so far. Is that gonna hit the light dragon? I doubt it. It's going to land. Okay, hold on. Okay, I can take a picture of the light dragon. Just a couple of his scales. Which is fine. Let's see, is there anything on here that I can collect this time? Should be some every time. Yep, there we go. Kind of icky to think that I'm eating parts of Zelda. Or using fighting with parts of Zelda. Or doing whatever with parts of Zelda. It's just it's just, it's just the whole thing is kind of icky feeling. And I just fell off. Okay, but now I can mark this spot off. And I can quickly head where next? I can head down to here. This is where I'm heading next. Oh, nice, I can get over there pretty easily for this one. So I don't know, this will be six, I think. So, they're not too hard. They weren't too hard to find other than three, which were pretty well hidden underneath things, but they're pretty easy to get to, especially since I have everything explored at this point. I feel like this one's another one that's gonna fall on me. Every time, every time that I think that something bad is gonna happen, it doesn't. Okay, so how many does that make? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, just five, okay. I can just quickly delete that. I have five now, and I can probably get rid of this one too. Yep. Or the picture of the horse. You know, I'm gonna keep the picture of the horse. I'm gonna keep all these scenic things that I got, except for you. I don't need you, unfortunately. But I've gotten five, so now it's time to get over to six, which is... I can remove this mark here. Uh, six is going to be right here, so I'm going to head for this spot next. Why do I only have one fabric? Why is that that I only have one fabric? Uh, I don't- I was just checking through my fabric and now I only have one. This one's perfectly fine. Nope. Okay. There we go. Caught that one just in time again. I'm just gonna do the opposite of what I think is gonna happen from now on. 
if it's going if it's if it doesn't seem like it's gonna fall, it's gonna kill me. Uh, so I've now finished that one. I finished everything on this side. Now we're heading for you. So I guess we'll head for the Nachoya Shrine. Right as I start levitating off of the ground because this thing is falling. Whew. The height. Oh my word, no. Tulin, get out of the way. Tulin. There we go. Okay. And now I can remove this mark. And... I guess I'm heading for here, because this is kind of the same all three ways. I don't know. Okay, I know where I'm heading instead. I need someplace way higher than this. Wrong side. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, here we go. Got it. Just in time. Okay, so that's two, four, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Okay, so I've gotten eight of the twelve so far, so I can remove this mark. And then I can... No, I wanted to do that instead, so let's quickly put on my Zora gear. The, the part that makes me fly up, or swim up waterfalls. And then we're going to create something. We're going to build something and fly over to the next one. Hey guys, sorry about this. Oh, there's a chest up here. Did I never get this? Did I never be get- was I never up in this place? Apparently not! It's one that I've already gotten though. Okay. So, that's something new and interesting, I guess. Okay, so this is kind of the best way for me to get to there, because I'm fairly high up. Uh, I think I can probably- if I probably looked- it is over that, it's right there. So yeah, it would definitely require... Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna do it from here since I'm here anyway. So let's, we're gonna quickly build myself my best plane. Uh, where, there we go. Nope, that's not right. That's not right. We're going to go up as high as we can, and also as far as we can. Let's go. And it is exactly this way, so let's get up to the height barrier as quickly as I possibly can. Okay, should I be able to make it? I don't know. Let's see if I can make it. I might be able to make it. Ooh, it's gonna be real close. If at all. I might be able to, though. So, where'd all my parts go? I all flew down somewhere. Probably landed in that monster encampment. Ah, uh, hold on. I lost sight of it. I lost sight of it. I regained sight of it. Okay. Okay, I made it here with plenty of time to spare, so... That's good. Okay, I think this one's probably gonna break on me. Yep, most of these break on me. Okay, got it. And now we've gotten... Two, four... Six, seven, eight... Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, uh, let's now... That I've unmarked that one, we're gonna head for this one, I suppose. So let's get over here.
And it's gone. Huh, it fell down to right here. So what I was seeing was actually the one that I was... I was correct in thinking that it was this one. I just, I completely missed the one up in the sky apparently. So that's 10. And I can remove this mock. Yeah. I don't know why I'm speaking in a British accent now. And head for here. I think there's a guy down there that I haven't fought yet. Tablet and Ancient Hyrulean. Okay. Uh, I feel like it's a good idea for me to go down and see if I've fought this guy before. No, I don't think I ever have. I don't think I've ever fought this guy. Should I go take him? I think I should. I think I'm going to. Okay, hold on. Eyeball time. Hold on. By most used, we're gonna use... Ha! These again. Okay, so he's gonna fall a good long ways. And it's not going to take out that much. Wow, that took out such a tiny amount. Hold on, quickly fuse something powerful to my Master Sword. Ah, uh, what am I going to fuse? We're going to fuse you. Okay, let's get out of here quickly. And we're going to now use these and also the three shot. Ow. Ouchie. Can I go please? Let's go guys. Nuts, I can't believe I let him get up that high now. Hold on, I should actually still be able to catch him, shouldn't I? If I use a wing. Oh, crap. Ah, wow, that hurt. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Uh-uh, not happening. Come on, go! Go, guys! Oh. And took me all out except for three and a half hearts. Because I thought I could catch him with the, with the eyes. But that was a mistake. Okay, so... Uh, one fight later, I'm moving on over to the last one. So let's just go.
Okay, nice. And this one didn't fall on me. So now I've gotten all 12, I believe, correct? First of all, let me remove the mark. I don't... At the moment, I don't see any that I would have missed. Except for the one in Central Hyrule, which I think... That guy already saw. Let's just quickly check here. One, two... So we go... So we go... Eight... 12. Okay, yep, I've got all 12. So let's head now back to Kakariko Village and see what he has to say about all 12 of them. It's gonna be me stumbling through old English sounding words for a long time. This means, hi. Hmm? Are you interested in the text from the stone tablet discovered at Lookout Landing? The original text of the stone tablet is depicted here. I'll read it again for you, so do listen well. Once you held, once you held honor, All's hawk, matey. I have no idea. I've, I've, I've got pictures for it. I have it. Oh. oh, here we go. I just had to stop pressing that thing. According to the stone tablet at Lookout Landing, we have 12 stone oh. tablets. Here's a picture. Ah. Wonderful. Let's see it then. Hmm. Interesting. I'll get right to translating it. Oh, aha. Incredible. Oh. It's first-hand Hyrulean history. Here's what the original hmm. text says. So sweet the song of King Raro, and so great the beauty of his sister's dance that were... That were mine eyes and ears captive. And so hend and so hend Queen Sonya's gazing on us. Ail so felt ye mine heart all's captive fallen. Also captive fallen. And so hend Queen Son what's hend? Seren Tiff's lift, though much laborism. Hen Machi. Jollity as well. Long be the life of the royal families there. You love so. Oh. This is an account of a party from those days. It says King Rowan and his older sister sang and danced together while Queen Sonya looked on. Oh. It's very interesting. We think of royalty as austere and reserved, but these nobles amuse themselves with song and dance. But what a vivid recounting of a scene I've never before related in any history book. The descriptions of their personalities and expressions make the ancient past feel alive again. The stone tablet is a first class find. Well done, dear Chamberlain, and leaving behind this account for us. <laughs> and positively beside myself to, to think of how the story from the ancient past preserved for so long to reach us today. Very good. I thank you, not just with words, but with this as well. Thank you. Uh. The thought of such an incredible historical artifacts falling down all over Hyrule is so exciting. According to the stone tablet at Lookout Landing, we have 11 tablets left to find. Here's another picture. I knew you could do it. I'm excited to get a look at this. Hmm. I'll get started translating right away. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, I see now what we have here. Oh. A first-hand historical account. Here's what the original text says. Mm. Sonya, queen to Hyrule's king by birth. Hy Hylian priestess. Priestress, herself, born blonde, not of the sky above. Spoken she with open, spoke she with spoken she with open heart, earnest to all, even to the Zonai's king. What's Yun? This king you think is good adventure. This king you think. You think it good adventure so to learn of the blondes folk of the blondes folk to send his head bent to listen to such pleasance oh. wow this one looks to be about queen sonya and claims that sonya was a priestess before marrying raru despite his status as zonai a people popularly thought to be god she would counsel him without any trepidation 
More of Aurora needed this council. Incredible. This account gives first-hand knowledge of the nature of Queen Sonya and King Rora's relationship. Rora found himself unexpectedly charmed by her strong will, and before long they were married. Ere that last bit is in the text, that's me speculating. Nonetheless, this is truly fascinating. History rarely speaks of a person's character prior to be elevated to royalty, so I can't help but fantasize. Thank you, Link, and I haven't forgotten about your reward. Thank you, thank you. The thought of such incredible historical artifacts falling down all over Hyrule is so exciting. According to the stone tablet, look at landing, we have ten left. Here's another picture. Let's see it then. I'm gonna start it translating right away. Oh yes, I see now what we have here. A first-hand historical account. Here's what the original text says. Oft ways Raru Oft ways Raru, king of Keen Blade, waved his waved his work real in favor of the hunt. And oft Queen Sonya and oft Quent Sonya, Queen of Keen Insight, seek him out and repair this king to kingly business business okay and her sapiens seems she divine and her sapiens seems she divine that she could find ever f she couldn't couldn't ever find and for his folly seems him the more human and the king oh he laugh not that not him her Equal for her wit, he couldn't. And the queen, she laughed too. All's even she scolded. Oh. Allow me to explain, this is actually a very enlightening story. Apparently King Rara would vacate his official business from time to time in order to go out hunting. I had the impression that he was stricter, that he was a stricter, more serious king, but I guess he had a lighter side as well. Mm. However, Queen Sonya was always a step ahead. She would put a stop to King Rara's hunts and bring him back. In some circumstances, she might... Expect us to have been a point of tension in their court, but the tone here is much more playful than that. These rows are much more relatable than one might assume. Oh, it seems from, or so it seems from this account at least. How fascinating. Ah. We rarely get a glimpse into the down-to-earth side of royalty in this way. It's an important find to be sure. Very good, and as promised, I have a reward for you. Thank you. Ah. Uh, here's another picture. <laughs> I knew you could do it. I'm excited to get a look at this. I'll get started translating right away. Oh yes, I see now what we have here, a first-hand historical account. Here's what the original text says. The king was late, become this even, so marked, so make the queen to share in tales of her lord, of shrines all green, glulin, glulin, green glowing. Of early days, since Hyrule's founding, have diverse monsters here reumed, reum, reum, realm besieged and assailed. Unceasing in strife, they brought to despair folks lifen. The folks, despair folks living. King and queen set themselves to bright, bring the scourge bringing the scourge to end with might of light and of power driven aback ben driven aback you ben and the royal couple made the shrines to seal him away this holy selen ben you clept shrines of light great king great queen you thank ye you fought when you were maiden child that she could pes Tocknen. Oh. I'll walk you through this one. The subject here is the actions of King Raru and Queen Sonya undertook is the actions King Raru and Queen Sonya undertook not long after Hyrule's founding. Mm -hmm. With the kingdom established, they were worried for their people, so they set out to eradicate the monsters troubling them. They created a structure called Shrines of Light to seal the monsters away so that they could So they could never be revived. There's more about hear about light and of time too the sense i get is that the two of them may have had supernatural powers though it is part of ancient history it's a feat for those of us living today should still be grateful for truly an important discovery very good as promised i have a reward for you thank you here's another picture wonderful let's see it then this is so much reading i'll get started translating right away hmm 
Oh yes, yes, I see what we have now. Oh. A first-hand historical account. Here's what the original text mm. says. Queen Minoru... Quenti Minoru, the king's elder sister, falls so deep in her... Boke switch that she oft forgets to eat. In min wearied way, in mind wearing way, don you what? Doing you what? Much you can, but f you for having that it be little avail. Of late tre treateth she, of late treateth she of constructs things did she make with her hands as a vessel for the spirit when body lick fail and fought failing so said she might she live long in spirit used with this fused with this con used with the construct though mineru ne seems to hold in any deceit be my faith by my faith you can not also truth the words believe in. Oh. Ah, so King Rora's older sister was named Minoru. Oh. Here we learn a little bit about Minoru. It says she neglected to eat or sleep while making something called a construct. It was part of her research into a means of returning to life as a spirit possessing a new body should her original one die. Mm. To you or I, this sounds less like history and more of a sort of, like, a sort of ghost story. But I remember who we're dealing with. They may have had unfathomable powers that may have made such things possible. The revelation that Minoru was a fellow researcher makes her feel like a kindred spirit to me, and yet... The Chamberlain who inscribed these stone tablets treats Minoru with such care and kindness that it warms my heart. Very good. I thank you not just with words, but with this as well. Yep, yep, this is becoming oh. customary. Ah, oh, here's a picture. Oh. You have one? Show me. Mm. I'll get started translating right away. Hmm. Oh yes, I see what we have here. Oh. A first-hand historical account. Here's what the original text mm. says. Full fun is the wedding this morn, and I have the audience with the princes, said Benkin before distraught years to Queen Sonya. By grace has she been given a name most sweet of Zelda, she been slept, clept, elept, clept, I have no idea. And certain folks stared suspicion, for strange were her garments, and sodden and sodane were her strange were her appearance yet with her countenance and being and bearing marked proof of her right of her, her right blood and bond to queen sonya also be zelda to remain in for a while with us you will myself also hawk maid offry aiken her services who is hawk maid is it hawk maid the chamberlain then this is another fascinating entry. If my translation is correct, the Zelda described here as Sonya's distant relative. According to this, she arrived in Hyrule unexpectedly for another kingdom. It seems she was a beautiful princess. Her strange clothing perplexed the people of Hyrule, and many were suspicious of her at first. But the Zelda had an undeniable air of nobility that those who doubted she was of royal birth were soon silenced. Ah. What a tale. Oh. It's also fascinating. This level of detail on individual people is virtually unheard of in text from long ago. I feel extremely blessed to be researching ancient Hyrulean in such times. Note two, note two, how clearly this conveys the writer's feelings regarding Zelda. Once it was clear to be staying, she Zelda would be staying. She applied to be the Chamberlain of the Princess. That suggests real ch admiration. Very good. I thank you, not just with words, but with this as well. So hold on. Switching back over to this, there was something that I saw here that had to do with lore. So it is. Is this not really have? Does this really not have to do with it? So it's not telling the lore then, I guess. But this is weird. Okay. Such the saw blah 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 blah. Six tablets. Here's a picture. Man, my voice is getting hoarse. I knew you could do it. I'm excited to get a look at this. Ready? Because I'm not. Mm. I'll get started translating right away. Oh yes, now I see what we have here. Oh. A first-hand historical account. Here's what the original text says. Mm. Princess Zelda, recent comes to see Minoru, the king's elder sister. I come, ek, I come ek for her to Sarun. Today I can hit, 
A passing that Minoru showed. I can hit a passing that Minoru showed the Zelda construct. All, all together greatest you have seen. You seen Zelda. She much desired on to ride. And the and the con that is saying coast her stopping, though I did protest and loudly. Nevertheless, she made to sit and high upon the construct's shoulders and to ride like a horse, all full of grace. Melashin, so grand already, died green at the moor. The variety of tales in the stone tablet continues to fascinate me. Zelda apparently visited Minoru often to assist with her research. Mm. I have no idea what the kind of thing this construct that allowed people to ride on was, but Zelda wrote it so well that our author, the Chamberlain, was again impressed by her skill at everything she tried. That's the long and short of it here. But well, more than the narrative, what strikes me is the back and forth between the Chamberlain and Zelda. The Chamberlain tried to warn Zelda of the danger, but Zelda pushed past her and wrote the construct anyway. It's short but so evocative of both the level of technology found in this era and the character of their visitor cool. Zelda. The treasure found in these stone tablets is the pearls of wisdom and the nuggets of personality contained within. Very good. I thank you not just with words, but with this as well. Thank you. Okay, here's another picture. I knew you could do it. I'm excited to get a look at this. I just started translating right away. Oh yes, I see what we have here. A first-hand historical account. Here's what the original text says. Fashion who favoreth garments adorned with much in patrons and for and with beyond they weren. Okay. This t this taste for mushroom come from the taste from the castless castles seamstress who sogged to sewn clothes for Princess Elder to please. And so this is like a, a very early ancestor of CC then. This fashion Zelda tell to the seamstress, or in her troll hom well loved. In her time, word Evercon, patrons of bright hues in the shape of mushroom. I know, and a hen seamstress at heart, these patrons copy in would sell to men a happy person. Is seen after some from men one. But they could not and on you findin'. Oh. How curious. Here we learn something about the fashion trends of that era. Mm. The story's catalyst is that Zelda and is there Zelda telling a tailor about the mushroom patterned outfits becoming popular in her homeland. Intrigued the tailor fashioned some clothing in that vein and it caught an, on an ancient Hyrule. Do you know CC from Matino Village? Imagine the look on her face if she were to find out. I'm glad that you and I had the same thought. They say this trends, this, that trends go in cycles, but I didn't expect mushroom patterns to have been in fashion so long ago. One last thing about the Chamberlain. Ah. Her interest in fashion shows there was more to her just, than just her devoted service. She was not just like anyone else in the kingdom. Very good. I thank you not with just words, but with this as well. Thank you. Ah. I thought of such incredible blah 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 blah. Okay, here's another picture. <laughs> I knew you could do it. I'm excited to get a look at this. I'm getting tired of reading. My voice is starting to crack. I'll get started translating right away. Oh yes, I see what we have here. Oh. A first-hand historical account. Here is what the original text says. Of late have you heard a told strange lady walks around the castle in dark of night. She and Princess Zelda seems all twins too, but on... On that a night, in that her ain more else a dead thing than not. When she's asked about these walks, Princess Zelda, of that been no thing remembering. What monster or spirit of darkness be this illusion? So afraid ye I am of mine imaginings that ye cannot that ye cannot sleep in. So this must be like fake Zelda then. Oh. This one is an ancient ghost story. My understanding of ancient Hyrule isn't perfect, but I know a ghost story when I see one. It's a first hand account of a ghostly or maybe corpse like woman who appeared at night looking just like their Zelda. No matter the era it seems people can't resist sharing a good ghost story. A bit like how there have been eyewitness accounts of our Princess Zelda newspaper, even though she's missing. Could our Zelda be a ghost too? No, of course not. There's no such oh. thing. As a believer in science, I should know better than to suggest things. Please forget I said anything. Thank you, Link, and I haven't forgotten about your reward. Okay, thank you. Oh. Thought of such incredible blah 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 blah. Three left. Here's a picture. <laughs> I knew you could do it. I'm excited to get a look at this. Mm. Okay, started translating right away. Hmm. Oh, yes, I see now what we have here. Oh. A first-hand historical account. 
Here's what the original text says. Seth here found in has high roll switch hardship you seen seen but that is only a small moment of time. Minero the king's elder sister says of the kingdom that it nemot nat awaren I beat nat Evan forward for further. Princess Zelda tells her that this is further be rat already and the champion birth from the sky coming. Between the two, they make to find in a way this champion in the distant time to help in. Hermine Truth sought they to uprisen the Temple of Time into the sky to warden hit Ons Evil. Aldaiden, so and for distant die, our kingdom might be saved. In mine heart, you would ye help in Mott, and you asked the Minru, can't see out. Days, the main stop raising in the sky. Thy stein, stain. Mine words say not and now, but the mains memory safen of the royal family high in the sky for that future time. This is unbelievable. The details aren't clear, but essentially the Chamberlain trusted Minero and Zelda's predictions and wanted to help. She put forth a suggestion to Minero to build her mechanism that can make her stone tablets float in the sky. Which I take it are very, the very tablets you found, Link. Simply incredible. In finding fantastic devices they built to preserve these records, you fulfilled the wishes of she wrote here, and it doesn't end there. Aww. In reading, it suggests that th their Zelda worked with Minoru to raise the Temple of Time into the sky. The idea of the Temple of Time, a grand edifice built in the ancient era, being lifted into the skies to await a hero. Oh. Trust me, that's what it says. Although, given the appearance of the Sky Islands after the upheaval, perhaps it's not so far-fetched as it seems. There are so many revelations here, my hands are trembling from all the strange, exciting ideas. Oh. And that's from merely reading an account long removed from the event. What must have been like for the Chamberlain to live through it? And thank you, Link. I haven't forgotten about your reward. Thank you. Oh. Thought of such incredible blah 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 blah. Two left. Here's a picture. Oh, you have one? Show me. Here you go. Mm. I'll get started translating right away. Oh yes, I see what we have here. Oh. First-hand historical account. Here's what the original text says. Mm. Such wondrous sight you've been, you have beheld in that Nikon hit Nat justly be described. The Temple of Time you saw and of Lond, you held it risen to the sky, both fearful and majestic. As Princess Zelda, I t told me, it told me, and for the strong future comes a champion to that place to hope that Hyrule safe and for the champion be hit that ye there's great stain inscribing. The king's eldest sister Minoru sends no the stain to the sky that the champion might hear a reading. My head is spinning I need to lie down. This is an incredible find. An eyewitness account of the Temple of Time floating up into the sky. It's a landmark discovery for the history of Hyrule and maybe one of the top 10 most important discoveries of all time. Even among the breathtaking displays of power we know from the era to raise the land and its buildings into the sky. That was a imp feat impressive to those even accustomed to- oh, blah blah blah. Uh, that was a feat impressive even to those accustomed to wonders. You can tell as much from this account. Zelda predicted that a hero would appear in the land they raised into the sky and that he would save Hyrule. The Chamberlain took this on faith and wanted to know how she could help. So she inscribed these records onto the stone tablets that Minoru sent into the sky. Oh. Ah, I'm so overwhelmed that tremors have gone past my hands and legs. My whole body is shaking. Please excuse me. This is no way for a researcher to behave. I need to view these accounts as a historian and I get so swept up in personal sentiments. Very good. I thank you. Not just with words, but also with this. Thank you. Oh. Thought of such... Oh, okay. Here's a picture. I knew you could do it. I'm excited to get a look at this. Here we go. Mm. I'll get started translating right away. Hmm. Oh yes, I see now what we have here. Oh. A first-hand historical account. Here's what the original text says. Mm. Raru, Hyrule's king, Sonya, her queen, his eldest sister, Minoru, and one eek princess Zelda, all whom you served and loved, all whom Thurgon, Alan, curve you these words upon these stan. This stan and all thirteen serving Al's royal family's record, Men work final, wrought full for all age. Many of the mark may be these beloved people, some some as seen, some unseen. When you make remembrance of her marks, feel your flame of hope, the 
full small with within me. It be also this marks some grand design describing. I can't. I need Connat met Princess Zelda, her love for her land. What more than ask ye can you do for Hyrule's people? Let mine life lead me from henceforth and answers full worthy to these questions. Oh. It seems this is the last of the records. The royal whom the Chamberlain served were so faithfully were gone one by one. It's heart rending, rending to hear. Her pain comes across so clearly in her words. Uh. What's less clear from these entries is the cause of all these partings. Well, each new mystery is an opportunity to do more research. If I keep digging someday, I'll unravel it. Like the noble chamber Chamberlain, I must do my part. Very good, and as promised, I have a reward for you. Thank you. Uh. The thought of such incredible historical artifacts oh. following... Oh, wait a moment. Wasn't that the final stone tablet? Oh. Yeah, it was. We collected all 13 of them. I can't believe it. Oh. Finally, I've translated the whole history. I'm going to need a moment. Now that I've read it all, well, to step outside my role as research, I'm deeply impressed with the author. Uh. I would very much like to meet her, if only for the vast gulf of time didn't separate us. But of course, collecting the 13 records on these stone tablets would have been impossible without your cooperation, Link. In your recognition of your work as a member, well, honorary member of the survey team, I want you to have this cloth. Zonai survey team fabric. Tough fabric bearing a Zonai survey team design, it looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. I'll tell you, Link, I've never felt prouder to be a researcher than today. To see all this valuable data compiled on the research lab, well, well, all makes me almost overcome with emotion. Hmm. Where should I display this one? Maybe on the wall over here? Goodness, but this could, place could use the tidying up. Oh. Everything you gave me is posted to the research lab wall. By all means, come and look at it whenever you like. I gained some precious understanding from my analysis of the text discovered at the time. This history the Chamberlain left for posterity contains not just facts, but an important record of her feelings. I want to continue my research of ancient Hyrulean so I can convey those feelings to the rest of the world. Link, thank you very much for working with me on this. Oh. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Wait, 1, one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I guess 13 is right there. Okay, my voice is killing me. I've gone way longer than I should have. Uh, this is this feels like a good place to stop. So for now, I will say thank you for watching this video. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.